think I'm different from most people in that um, what I did before I became a full-time writer, I was in a band and I always felt like I was a writer in a band because I wasn't that great a musician or anything. But I sort of thought I had this talent where I could write, so I, I'd always write, be it short stories or journalism. So I think I've described myself as a writer for a lot of years, but um, I've only been, this has only been my job for the last five. I do a few things to make my characters tick, and not all of them work. Some of them are just processed to keep myself sat at the desk. If I'm stuck, I answer 50 questions on them, which is the most tedious thing you can ever imagine. Um, I sometimes assign an actor to my character and write it in their voice, and they never end up being the actor who plays them because I, I, I don't want to saddle real people with some of the screw-ups that I write. The idea comes first for me. I have to know what the idea is. I have to be able to, to say that idea in a couple of lines. Generally, it'll be something happens and I'll think, ah, oh, this is a story about salvation. Or um, this is a story about disillusionment. So I, I know what the event is, but I have to know what I'm writing about before I can write anything. And then I write a treatment. Um, which can be anything from five to 18 pages, where I structure it out. But every day when I sit down at my desk, I start at the beginning again, and I rewrite from the beginning. So it might take me until one o'clock in the afternoon to get to the point where I need to start new writing. But what it means is that um, I get rid of a lot of the guff along the way so that by the time I reach the end of a first draft, I'll still rewrite it several times before it goes anywhere, but I'll have rewritten that draft every day for 18 days. If I've got a deadline, I tend not to have writer's block. Writer's block comes when I don't have a deadline and I don't have, um, have to have something in on time. If I have to have something in, I'm such a swat that I'm determined to have it in at that point. But if I get stuck, then I do ridiculous, stupid, tedious exercises just to keep me at the desk, like answering the 50 questions on character. Um, and I actually don't think they do me any good at all, but all they do is keep me in that place and writing. I don't think my writing days are particularly curious, actually, because um, cause I've got a family, so I have to structure my writing time between drop my daughter off at school, sit down, school pick up, then go back again at night if I've got a deadline. So it's got to be quite regimented just to fit in with um, having to do things like cook meals. Structure, I wish I'd known structure at the beginning of the writing career, I've had to learn it. It's essential for somebody like me. It's too hit and miss without having something in place where I know what my story is. But. Um, I mean, I started writing quite late, and so I had to try and learn a lot of things in a short space of time because I didn't have the luxury of years spent learning. This is what I know that I didn't know years ago. When I first started, five or six years ago, I thought everything I work, wrote were a work of genius and it was rubbish, complete rubbish. I re-looked at a script recently thinking, that, that script were brilliant, why did nobody ever make it? I looked at it and I thought, what, what a pile of crap, it's awful. And now I finish a script and I never think, oh, this is a work of genius. Now I think, how can I make this better? Oh, it's not good enough, oh, I've got a niggle about this. And I've sort of changed. So I'm always striving for it to be better, whereas at the beginning, I was just like, ah, there it is, world. <laughs>